Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my closet. I've never filmed a video in here. I'm happy to have you guys over, especially for the special request that I am doing today. Let's face it, this is reality these days. My spring fashion statement has been tie-dye sweatsuit every day. I'm really committed to it. But realistically, if I were, you know, out and about doing my regular thing, there was a lot of outfits I had planned. I was excited to style and put together different pieces that unfortunately haven't really uh, had their moments. So I thought, what better way than to invite you here into my closet and maybe go through some of my favorite spring pieces together, uh, maybe style a few even, and uh, yeah, have a little bit of springtime fun outside of my tie-dye. So without further ado, let's get into it. I got this thing with knits, the kind of thing that I can't seem to get rid of any of them when I clean out my closets. Them and jackets, weird attachment issues. And when I saw Katie Holmes, I think, yeah, it was Katie Holmes wearing this Kate cashmere sweater with a matching bra. I nearly fainted. I hunted that sweater down everywhere. I found it on Moda Operanda. I found out it was a little too pricey for a cashmere bra for me, but I was so happy when I saw that Zara had some similar pieces, super 90s reminiscent and fun with those cute throwback cardigans with matching undergarments to boot. Super 90s and cute, kind of these cropped cardies. This one's kind of a gray neutral with the matching bra. And then over here, this cute sort of chunkier knit, which I really love. And under it, Doo -doo 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 -doo. You have the little sort of almost like a little bralette. It's super duper cute. Both are from Zara. I thought I would pair this particular one with this uh, cute plaid pant. That's why it's hung with it right now. And maybe even if I did it with like a cute Prada re-edition bag, a padded headband, and some Amina Muadi shoes. I mean, this would have been a look. Now it's a look for my bedroom, but I'm glad that you guys can see it. And yeah, I'm obsessed with these knits for spring. So, so, so cute, so comfy, and such a statement. Now, speaking of Cardi's, I couldn't not, <laughs> Cardi's, not like Cardi B, like Cardigan. I couldn't not mention these for Love and Lemons pieces. I've loved these inside the house even. They're so cozy and cute with their little ruffly shoulders and sleeves and all of the embroidery details on this one I really love. This one's really cozy and cute. And I showed it to you guys in my last video. I love these too. For spring, a little like Easter pastel moment. I know groundbreaking. I mean, especially this guy with these cute little shoes. These are new from Aldo. They did a collaboration with Cinderella. I'm a bit of a Disney fiend, if you don't know, so that spoke to me rather quickly, and I think they're so beautiful. They're that true sort of Cinderella glass slipper blue, which I love. And when you can do a little pop of color matching like this, ooh, makes my heart beat. Speaking of knits, I've got one last one for you here. It's probably my favorite knit that I own. It's from Ula Johnson. Oh, how gorgeous, right? Ula makes the most incredible pieces. And my friend Sabrina actually hosted my closet sale with me late last year, and she wore this piece in the cream color throughout the day and I just gawked at her and I was staring at her and I was obsessed with the sweater. It was really pricey though so I didn't want to bite the bullet myself. But believe it or not, I have a very specific set of skills. Similar to Liam Neeson and Taken, I can find anything online at like the best price possible. So I hunted this guy for a long time. I found it on Moda Operandi. And when Black Friday, I think it was Black Friday, yeah, came along with an extra 30% off, I bit the bullet in this beautiful sort of coral peachy color. These sleeves, I could write novels about these sleeves. They're so beautiful. The embroidery, the knitting, it's all kind of breathtaking, as I said. Even the knitted wrists, everything about it is my favorite. And I can't wait to wear it, hopefully soon. Now next up, these are pieces I've had in my closet for about a year now, but have not come out to play enough. So uh, here we have these cool sort of Gucci canvas slack and with a cute little drawstring at the waist, super comfortable, cute little pocket detail in the back. And I got a matching bucket hat to boot. It was for a themed party that I had, got my hands on them. I still think that they're timeless and they're a lot of fun. And I'm so happy I picked them up because now I look forward to styling them with, you know, pieces that can elevate the look a little bit more. This Danielle Bernstein bodysuit is super cute. If you ask me, a crisp white shirt is all you're going to need in your life. If you don't have one, you're doing yourself a disservice because it's so effortless and cool and beautiful forever, like the most timeless staple in the world. So this guy's actually is a bodysuit, as I said, also cute up puffed sleeve for a little extra added volume. And together, I think that they're going to be great friends. What shoes can we pair them with? Maybe with these Amina Muadi, uh, I think these are the Gilda, the Gilda Mules in the white leather with the cute little diamond details and the island heels. It's a lot, but you know, I haven't left the house in a while, so I'm going to be a little extra. I'm going to look like Elton John when I leave this house. <laughs> Speaking of Danielle Bernstein's Macy's collaboration, uh, a big staple from that line that came out earlier this year was suits. I am a suit lover aficionado. I'll wear a suit over a dress any day. I have a whole section here in my closet devoted to them. I love that they're matching separates, that you can wear them separately, style them separately, and together they're just the biggest one-two punch and they're timeless again. You can wear them forever. You never have to get rid of them. So I really loved this take that she did. My mom actually got her hands on this for me when she was in the States. Uh, she went to Macy's. Uh, I love the cropped blazer with the peak lapels 
and the little double-breasted buttons. The pants are also a lot of fun. There's like a zipper at the crotch. Very minimal detail and when I tried it on I couldn't believe it. They're so super duper comfy, easy to wear again, effortless. This with a crop black tee or even with nothing under which is you know a bit risque but styled properly I think it can be done. Sorry I keep my shoes all stuffed but I think this uh, little moment needs to happen in my house or sometime in the future when I leave it. You know either or. Now I know what you're thinking. Florals for spring right? Groundbreaking. But these pieces from Zara when I saw them on the website really really uh, piqued my interest. They're these gorgeous sort of prairie almost florals. Super super uh, 70s and beautiful. Also the material has this creped feel to them which I really really enjoy. Uh, the snaps are kind of western too which is cute. This is a two-piece with the pants and the cute little peasant blouse and I think pairing this dress with the adorable literally most adorable bag I own Lady Delight I would just be a moment. It needs to happen. I'd pair this bag with anything and it officially become the cutest outfit ever but for springtime she deserved a moment that she didn't get so she's gonna get a lot of uh, <laughs> get a lot of love once quarantine has come and gone. Now speaking of groundbreaking florals for spring I had to mention this collaboration that H&M did with Johanna Ortiz. Johanna is a wonderful Colombian designer that I am obsessed with. Her evening wear is everything. Every time we have an occasion I use that excuse to pick up one of her incredible pieces. I wore her to my parents wedding. I wore her to, I wear her to pretty much every wedding I get invited to. So when I got word that H&M partnered with her I was so excited to see the pieces and boy did they not disappoint. These midi roughly dresses with those icons iconic sort of quintessentially Johanna prints are everything and so fun and easy to style for spring. If I were to leave the house again I feel like that's a recurring theme. <laughs> I feel like this little pink number with this pretty new super supple leather Lamarck jacket that I just got in. It's it's beautiful. This blush color I'm obsessed with would look gorgeous together. So with the Lady Delight on top of it I think that this would be the most feminine, elegant, perfect spring look that I will never get to wear. It's fine. I'm not mad. By the way, I'm so sorry guys, we're experiencing some lighting troubles, so if it changes up a little bit during the video I hope you don't mind. But next up we are talking another one of my very, 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 very favorite spring fabrics, gingham. Uh, both of these little uh, sets I put together are from Zara. I love this crop two-piece, it's sort of like a pencil skirt, super, super comfy, that same sort of creped material as the florals that I showed you guys earlier, super stretchy, super flattering. Will also make for a great summer look, especially paired back again to my faithful little Amina Muadi mules. And now for a little bit more of a monochromatic moment, uh, this little baby doll dress really caught my eye uh, when I saw it, especially because I was hoping to pair cute feminine dresses like this one with my super fun, edgy uh, Prada monolith boots. Uh, they make a statement. So it's kind of fun to wear them in a bit of an oxymoronic way. I was also hoping to layer this little baby doll number with a matching print, a little bit larger. Uh, this pussy bow blouse is super duper cute. I have a little skirt to go with it as well, but I think that this would just be almost so kawaii it would hurt, especially if you add a little extra Prada on top. You know what I'm saying? Added Prada headband is just always the right answer. <laughs> now let's dip back in just a little bit more florals. My mother actually got us matching Chiara Ferragni sweatsuits for Christmas. I have yet to wear this one but when I saw this cute sort of pleated maxi skirt on the website on Zara.com again I believe I figured this had to happen. Super feminine, the perfect baby blue sort of matchup. I love pairing something with a little bit more weight, a little bit heavier, a little warmer up top uh, with something so light and floral on the bottom and any reason to pull out my cute little Aldo Cinderella slippers is what I want to take. I think I would crop this though a little bit. So cute. And last but certainly not least, it wouldn't be any season actually, not just spring, that a little denim and this cute sort of matching separates moment. You know I love a raw edge on the jacket with these big wide leg jeans. I just figured this would be so effortless and sort of my loft duty paired the right way with like a crop tee. Cool pair of shades. Had to get my hands on this one. And matching color, very different vibe. This cute sort of denim western ruffly dress uh, I had to get my hands on. And there's nothing I love more than a super feminine uh, design in kind of a rougher thicker fabric like denim. Also you could play this in so many different ways but I've got to pull out my little Balenciaga Hello Kitty bag and one of my favorite acquisition as of late uh, these Bottega sandals. They're so comfortable by the way. It's almost a crime. This would be so cute. And on that note I think that pretty much wraps things up. Thank you guys so much for coming uh, into my closet and giving me a chance to style some fun outfits I was looking forward to this spring. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to come back in here and do more videos like this one don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when my next one comes up. Also the comment box below, great for your suggestions. I usually do whatever you say. So uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Wishing you guys a wonderful, safe, healthy, love-filled week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.